What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into this video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel down below if you are new and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So you guys are probably wondering, all right, what is he trying to talk about? What's his secret sin that he's exposing? It's actually a lot deeper than you realize. So as you can see here, my arm is not arming right now. <laughs> I had to get a procedure on it recently and the reason why why is because I actually chose to rebel against God. God will never afflict physical pain on somebody. But when you choose to disobey God and you are walking outside of the will of God, whose will are you walking into? You're walking into the will of the devil and you're at the mercy of the enemy to attack you. And I took an L, but I'm going to turn my L's into lessons and hopefully it can edify you guys so you guys don't make the same mistake. Okay, so why am I in this position? Why did I have to just go through a procedure and not be able to use my left arm? Basically, it all started with pride. We live in a world where pride is celebrated and cheered. And honestly, I find that very interesting because pride never produces any good results whatsoever. My pride was thinking that something else could fulfill me instead of God. I was going through some spiritual warfare, uh, like maybe a couple of weeks ago. And instead of going to the secret place, I was actually going to the gym. I was working out excessively and I was actually weightlifting to the point where I was causing so much tension on my body that at one point I was in the gym and I was trying to hit a new max and I completely snapped my elbow right here which caused my entire tendon to get irritated and I wasn't able to lift anymore and I had to take a break from lifting now as I was taking this break the problem was not going away my arm seemingly felt like it was getting worse to the point where I actually had to get a procedure done on my arm and let it heal for the next couple weeks in this brace and it all goes back to pride I thought that working out that physical activity was my substance for what I really should have been doing, which is getting in the presence of God. But I neglected God trying to speak to me. I neglected the Holy Spirit convicting me that I was actually replacing him with a false God, which was physical fitness. Now, physical fitness is great. I believe as Christians, we should be fit. I don't believe that we should let ourselves go as Christians because our body is the temple and many Christians die prematurely because of obesity and they don't actually get to walk in their call that God has ordained them to be in. So I'm not anti-fitness. I love fitness. However, I actually turned this into a false God. I actually started worshiping an idol, which was physical fitness, because I'm thinking that this is going to satisfy me for the warfare that was going through my mind. But God humbled me. Although God never afflicted this upon me, he used the situation to teach me that you can't replace him. You can't replace God with something else. Doesn't matter what it is. That's what my secret sin was. My pride was allowing me to create false idols outside of God's will. And I was worshiping these idols by neglecting God, by neglecting his Holy Spirit, convicting me that I was replacing him. Since then, I have repented and trusted me. Every day I look at this brace and every day that I recover, I think about how wrong I was, although God does not want me to live in condemnation. I want to read a scripture out of Proverbs 16, 8 that is very applicable not only for the month that we're in, but also for the experience that I went through. Proverbs 16, 8 says pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. This is why idol worship is so sinister and so diabolical because I somehow got deceived into making something else an idol outside of Jesus, even though I love him. I love him with all my mind and soul, yet none of us are not prone to being deceived. None of us are not prone to submitting to the flesh, which is why it's so important that we take these lessons that we go through and instead of sulking on it, we actually use it as a way to edify our minds, to renew our minds, and to fully walk in God's will. You can't receive the blessings of the kingdom of God if you're going to do things opposite to his kingdom. The whole reason that the devil fell was because of pride. The kingdom of darkness operates off of pride. You can't expect the blessings that come from the kingdom, the protection that comes from the kingdom, if you are violating kingdom principles. And I wanted to make this video today about idol worship and pride. It's not just parading in the streets with rainbow colors. It's not just following false religions like Buddhism, Islam. It's not just that. It's a lot deeper. Anything that replaces the presence of God that you think is going to give you peace is worshiping a false God. And that was my secret sin. I repent for that, especially as a man of God, as a minister of the gospel. You know, I definitely believe that I need to hold myself accountable and I need to repent before you guys and let you guys know that that's what I was dealing with. But by the grace of God, I was able to learn from this experience and really realize that you cannot replace the presence of God. Maybe you can for a bit, but it will only lead to your destruction. And I learned a lot from this and I just hope that you guys keep me in prayer. Uh, I have been recovering pretty quickly already. You know, my doctor did tell me that sometimes it takes weeks not to feel physical pain in here anymore. The pain already went away really quickly in just a couple days. Although I do have to be in this brace still for a good while, but by the grace of God, I'm getting healed. I learned my lesson. Guys, do not replace God. And that's the deception of the enemy. Something could actually be very good. Like, 
physical fitness, but if it replaces your time with God, if it substitutes your time with God, if you exalt it above your time with God, it no longer becomes good, but it becomes a snare for your destruction. Don't be deceived. The enemy is tricky, but God has grace and God has mercy. I wanted to make this vid today just to let you guys know that this is what I'm going through right now. That's why I have it uploaded in a couple of days, but I'm recovering very quickly. So just keep me in prayer. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, I want you to comment down below pride is whack because pride is whack and none of us are perfect enough not to fall into that but by the grace of Jesus Christ we can have forgiveness in his blood we can have forgiveness in his sacrifice and we can have a relationship with God and God is ready to forgive us of our iniquity if we truly change our mind about it if you guys want to financially sow into the ministry I have an offering link in the description or you can get my new merch which is in the description with that being said I love you guys so much I'll see you guys for another video very soon may God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ take care and peace out. There's only one worthy to sit on the throne. Can't wait till he comes me to get out this world and I'll finally be in my own. You see, I'm a menace to hell. I'm aware that my name is extremely well known. The Lord and his angels are always around me. I know that I'm never alone. Walking with God, you must slip in a tone. Better not play around with me. Could Jesus Christ call me and maybe his own? Had to repent on my knees for things in the past I no longer condone. The Spirit be giving me peace. Always be walking around with Shalom. The work of the cross was a mercy show. So I'm gonna be walking on the narrow road.